Today we're going to learn about solid geometry. Solid geometry is geometry of 3D shapes. The reason why they named it 3D shapes because the object has three dimensions. Length, width, and height. Let me show you an example of a 3D shape. Let's say our 3D shape is a cube. our cube. In our cube, here is the length, here is the width, and here is the height. To show further, here is a cube. In this cube, here is the length, here is the width, and here is the height. There are two properties of 3D shapes. The first one is volume, and the second one is surface area. The volume is the capacity. For example, how much water could this hold? Could this cube hold? And the second one, surface area, is the area of the, each surface. There are four surfaces, four, four surface areas, and two top and bottom surface areas. There are two kinds of 3D shapes: polyhedra and non-polyhedra. But we're going to talk about those the next time. Today we learned about solid geometry. Solid geometry is geometry of 3D shapes. The reason why it's called 3D because it has three dimensions. Length, width, and height. Length, width, and height. There are two properties in a 3D shape the volume and the surface area. And there are two kinds of 3D figures, the polyhedra and non-polyhedra. But we're going to talk about those in the next time. Thank you for watching my video.